the Taliban takes Pakistan. Women should be outlawed like plastic bags, says the adolescent to the female journalist wrapped in a red shawl. Her hands are the same color as his. In an empty room near the Pakistan-Afghan border, the boy sits cross-legged after school, where he is learning the alphabet of becoming a suicide bomber. Why should they be allowed to wander the streets, he asks, not joking in Farsi. Women are for domestic. That's what they should be. Flattening dark as landmine lids, his eyes never move from hers, nor see the way she tries not to recoil. She knows she could be executed for this interview. Clamped in the boy's right hand, the Koran is written in Arabic he cannot read. His words stutter like bullets fired from an Uzi or doves on fire. He wants to join the Taliban, God willing. Those burning wings flare as he recounts the day American missiles shattered his everyday village. Helicopters diced the air above his head as he ran to search adobe rubble for his beloved cousin. We looked everywhere, his mouth ages, quivering into commas of grief. But already the dogs were eating him. All we could find to bury were his legs. We had to carry his legs home in plastic bags.